The amount of hours that you put into your business when you're first getting started will largely play a factor in how much money you're going to make. In today's video, I want to break down all of the necessary time that you've got to put into your business if you want it to be successful. Now, you know, everybody's got a different definition of success. And everybody's got different business objectives. Some people just want to have a side hustle. They really don't want to transition out of their nine to five job. So they just kind of try to make a few extra thousand dollars a year. Some people, they want to be able to make money from their business, but they're like, you know, I don't have to be the next Bill Gates. As long as I've got enough to be able to put food on the table, I'm good. Life is great. And then you got some people that are transferring out of the working world and becoming their own boss because they want freedom to be able to buy what they want, when they want, work when they want, when they want, travel, you know, where they want, when they want, and give them a life that allows them to live it all on their own terms. This is a very important video. Because regardless of where you are down that path that I just illustrated to you, you've got to know how much work accurately goes into giving you the life that you desire. Now, let me put this out here real quick as a disclaimer. No two people's lives are the same. I'm going to be giving you a standard. I'm going to be giving you in this video the averages. Don't troll me and be like, oh, well, you know, I was able to make X amount of money and I could just sit at the beach all day and never do nothing. OK, that doesn't represent the average person that has achieved success in America. OK, that would be an anomaly by, you know, the, the world standards at large. It's pretty obvious that if you're going to get something in life, you're going to have to work for it. So without no further ado, let's go ahead and hop in, okay? I've put together this basic chart, and I've oversimplified here, so let me explain what I'm trying to say. Some of you guys want to be able to have a side hustle that allows you to make four-figure incomes, additionally, on top of the money that you're already making. And you have questions about how many hours should I put into my business in order to be successful? So if you wanted to make about four figures uh, a year, additionally in your income from a side business, you can easily do that by putting in anywhere between zero to 20 hours a week, okay? This is a weekly work breakdown of how many hours to put into your business. If you just want a side hustle, something that's gonna make a few extra bucks here and there, you're not gonna be able to live off of it, but maybe it might help you, you know, buy that sneaker that you want, buy that phone that you want, you know, give you certain liberties of things that's just kind of on top of money, play money to go along with whatever you're making from your nine to five job, you could accomplish that anywhere between zero to 20 hours worth of work within a week for a four figure income. Now, like I said, what would four figure income include? Anywhere between a thousand extra dollars a year to 9,000 extra dollars a year, okay? You choose. Anywhere within that range would be kind of about the average. Now, let's say that you want to make five figures in your business. If you want to be able to make five figures in your business, you can probably accomplish that by working anywhere between 20 to 60 hours a week. Now, of course, the reason why there are ranges is because it's so much easier to get to 10,000 in a year than it is to get to 90,000 in a year or 99,000. See, if you're trying to get to 10,000 in a year, you can get to 10,000 in a year by doing less than $1,000 a month. 
And once you kind of get the hang of things online, you know, you've created repeatable processes, you've got a product or something that will sell, it's pretty easy to make at least a thousand dollars a month. Okay. And that's the reason why I'm saying in order to be able to get anywhere between $10,000 in a year up until 99,000, you want to put it anywhere between 20 to 60 hours. All right. So a lot of you guys might be saying, okay, but Uzziah, I'm working at a nine to five job right now. And I've got entrepreneur intentions full time, but there's no way that I could put in 20 hours, 60 hours and beyond. What do I do in that case? Well, just stay on board with me for a second in this video. Your success is an exponential process. See, if you're going to become successful in a business, it's going to go something like this. This is something that people never really tell you. Most people think that success is just going to kind of be like this, right? Where you're just on this, you know, just kind of steady incline. Honestly, that rarely ever happens. Most people that set up successful businesses <laughs> would wish that their business was constantly on a steady upswing until life got wherever they wanted it to get. Honestly, you know, you get a lot more of that up and down. But really and truly, the honest fact of business is that most people that have successful businesses that really have something that takes off, their business looks a lot more like this. Stagnant, bottom, not going anywhere. Then out of nowhere, they find something that works and things shoot up. Simple as that. And you don't know when that moment is going to come. You don't necessarily know how it's going to happen. You don't know what's going to be the catalyst that's going to allow it to take off. But something is going to happen that's going to allow your business to take off. You know, I remember um, one of my favorite mentors that really started to inspire me as a black man to have my own business. Brother's name is Eric Thomas. You might have seen one of his videos before. He came out with this viral video that said, if you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. Now, the true reality of the matter is E.T. had been speaking for years. E.T. had been speaking for decades, just constantly putting himself out there, coming out with new material. But it wasn't until that one video took off and went viral that it changed the game entirely for his business and for his career. You know, prior to that point, he was still working at a nine to five job, trying to do certain things on the side to be able to make his way out. And so you never know when that lucky break is going to come. I say lucky break because there's no real luck, right? You have to work very hard to get very lucky. But the point that I'm trying to make to you is business and success takes work. It takes hours. And if you're going to try to build a business where you want to really walk away with financial freedom, money in the bank account to not only cover your family's expenses, but also be able to do some other cool things on top of that, you want to be able to make a business that generates over $100,000 and more in annual revenue you should probably be putting in 60 to 80 hours worth of work per week on average. Now, I know that a lot of y'all, you hear that and you're like, damn, he doesn't sound like every other entrepreneur that's trying to sell me the dream. No, I'm not trying to sell you the dream. I'm trying to give you the real talk. I did not get to being able to have my own business that allows me to be able to work from home by just, you know, every other week I'm on vacation. Every other week I'm at the beach. Every other Saturday I'm at the party. No, I didn't get to success like that. I got to success just like every other entrepreneur that you see that's successful today got to success. Whether they're trying to sell you the dream or not, they put in the hours. They learn a process on what to do every single day 
to get them the accomplishments that they now have, okay? Or giving them the benefits of having the freedom and the luxury to live a lifestyle that may seem a little bit more appealing. You're going to have to figure out what type of entrepreneur you want to be. Do you want to be a side hustler? Do you want to be a get buyer? Because right here, if you're like in get buy stage, right, you're going to be able to maybe have enough to just be able to keep the basic necessities on in terms of your bills, but you're not going to have enough money to really enjoy your life. You're not going to have enough money to be able to, um, you know, take vacations whenever you want to take vacations. You're not going to have the money to be able to hire a team, you know, to do all of the great things that you want to do in life. You're not going to be able to, you know, live in this great community and do all of these great things. You'll be able to get by. But my personal stance, my personal model is if I'm going to bust my ass in building a business, why do I just want to get by? <laughs> why would I not want all of the benefits that could come from the fruits of my labor? So if I'm trying to build a business for me personally, stepping out of a nine to five job, I'm always going to shoot for this level. OK, I'm always going to shoot for this level because after you take away money from, you know, overhead costs in your business, taxes, having to reinvest into the company and so on. You still need to have some money for yourself to be able to get by in your own life. OK, so I want to tell you about three quick things. OK, we talked about this schedule and you could just take this however it comes to you. Pick one and leave a comment and let me know which one of these avenues you're gonna go down. Like, I always tell you guys, if you're working at a nine to five job right now and you don't have the ability to put in 20 hours a week, 40 hours a week, 60 hours a week, 80 hours a week, right? If you don't have that time at your disposal, the best thing that I recommend that you do is you just take one or two hours a day to work on your business during a nine to five, just planning a lot of things. But understand, if you wanna be with the Elon Musks of the world, that's the type of hours that they're putting in. <laughs> you know, you think about your Bill Gates, your Warren Buffett, the people that have actually built corporations and companies that have lasted the test of time, right? They put in those hours. And even if you're not trying to be tycoon status, don't get it twisted. The people that are still running your everyday mom and pops, restaurants, cleaners, gas stations, etc. Trust me, they're getting it in too. They're putting in these level of hours too because um, you, you, you got to put in that effort. What I would tell you is you need to develop consistency. Okay. It can be easy for any one person to put in a 14 hour day or a 16 hour day, uh, any one day of the week. But what's so much more important than just going hard one day of the week is you actually building the work ethic and building the stamina and the muscles to work consistently week in and week out. You know, one of the things that I talk about inside of my company is um, wherever you are, be there. What I mean when I say wherever you are, be there is if you're at work, work. If you're not at work, don't work. But there's so many people in, you know, today's society, in this modern world that they go to work, but they're not really working. But then they take a vacation and they're not really vacationing. <laughs> you know, when it's time to come to work, they're on social media, they're on their phone, they're doing all these other things that are distracting them from getting the job done, the task at hand. But then when it comes to them actually taking time off of work, because of the fact that they are so digitally connected to their jobs, they're taking phone calls on vacation. They're responding to emails on vacation. They're still having to knock out some work, even though they're supposed to be taking time off and disconnecting, okay? So what I would advise is this. 
Create a system in your life where you can put in whatever level you're trying to get to in terms of hours on a consistent basis. Not just a one-time thing, not just a one-week thing, not just a one-month thing, not even a one-year thing. If you're going to be successful in a business, you have to know how to be able to put in effort year after year after year after year. You think LeBron got to an NBA championship off of one year of consistency? You think that Jordan got to a championship off of one year of consistency? No, these guys train for years on end before they even step foot on an NBA court. And they didn't win their championships their rookie years. They still had to put in a lot of effort and adjustments even once they got on that big stage in order to get the championship. You have to do the same thing for your business, okay? Let me talk really quick about vacations. You might be looking at this schedule and getting intimidated, feeling like it's a lot of work. And honestly, one of the things that I would tell you is if this feels like a lot of work, like even 60 to 80 hours worth of work. If that feels so overwhelming where you just couldn't possibly imagine putting in that many hours, either one, you're probably not really an entrepreneur and I would advise how deeply you go down the entrepreneurial path or two, you really haven't found that thing in your life that drives you and motivates you enough to put in those type of hours and not really notice how much time has gone by in a day. You know, when I'm doing these videos, a lot of times I gotta be mindful of how much time I spend on camera because I'm just so comfortable talking about this because I'm passionate about it, I'm motivated to be able to help you succeed, that I could spend a lot more time on here than I can really afford because I enjoy doing it. It's not something where it's like, you know, a real pain in my ass where I'm noticing every second. You gotta do the thing that feels like time passing by is easy. You know how they have that saying, time flies when you're having fun? What is that thing that you get that you can turn into a business. Because when you can do that and find that, then it won't be any problem putting in the right amount of hours, okay? But let's talk about vacation. You know, I want you to start thinking about your vacations as an investment rather than a luxury. This could honestly be one of the most important things that you get out of this video. You know, one of the most game-changing books that I ever read was a book called The Power of Full Engagement. And society is so busy just kind of uh, glorifying this hustle culture. Every single day you gotta be hustling, every second you gotta hustle. That nobody ever emphasizes the importance of rest and recovery going into your work efforts. I'm known around my family and friends for going on regular vacations. And the reason why I go on regular vacations is because of exactly what I told you earlier. When I'm at work, I'm at work. I'm not trying to chat with everybody on Facebook. I'm not trying to be always on the phone with people and oh, holding a conversation, hey, how's it going? But I'm at work pretending like I'm actually working, no. When I actually get in my zone and I get in a space to work, work is getting done. I'm focused on execution and results. So by the time that I get off of work, my recovery is important to me. When I'm not putting in that 80 hour work shift, I'm focusing on making sure that I'm protecting my energy by going on vacations that will renew me. Me personally, I love going on cruises. I love being in spaces where I can just have quiet time, you know, and enjoy seeing the world. You've got to find out what works best for you. So treat your vacations as an investment in your success, not as a luxury. You know, a lot of my mentors that I've seen really forge great lives typically go on vacations once every six weeks. Now, the problem with that is if you're at a nine to five, 
most companies in America will only give you two weeks worth of vacation. Right. And so you just got to be able to do what works for you. You know, that vacation every other month, that's obviously a target. It's not something that's going to happen tomorrow. But if you're not going to even measure it as a target, it's never going to get done. Right. Because it was it, the, the things that get measured are the things that get done. OK, so start to make a goal and a habit of getting invested in your recovery. Last but not least. Before we close this video out, I want you to think about when it's important to work on your business versus when you need to work in your business. You know, for a lot of guys that are watching this video right now, you can look at this left side of the screen and say, okay, Uzziah told me that I need to be working this amount of hours to make this amount of income. So I'm just going to hustle it and I'm just going to pound it every single day until it comes. I've got a word of advice for you. I've got a warning for you. I want you to listen to me on this real good. If all you do every single day is just hustle and pound it for all of the hours that you work, you're never going to have time to learn how to get better and be better with what you're doing with your business. Every year that I've been in business, I've had to put out a product and see how far that product could take me only to get to the point where I realized that I now needed to create a better product to top the one that I just created. Because if I just take this one product, this one way of doing things, and maybe I didn't know as much then as I know now, and I just constantly pounding it, constantly hustling it, constantly just trying to go out there, go out there, go out there, go out there, breaking my back to make ends meet. Then what's going to happen is no matter how hard I work, I'm eventually going to hit a ceiling. OK, I may reach an income ceiling. There's only so much money I'm going to make off of what it is that I'm offering. I can reach an energy ceiling. There's only so hard I can really grind away, right? I'm going to hit certain plateaus. So it's not enough that I just work hard. I got to know how to work smart as well. So that way for every one hour of work that I do, the return on that investment of my time is that much more beneficial. See, if you only know how to work for $10 an hour, where your work only yields $10 in return, <laughs> I would much rather that you spend time learning how to become worth $100 an hour. But you're never going to do it just by brute force alone. You have to know the difference sometimes between working on your business, working in your business. Here's another thing. When you're just starting off a business, right? Don't be so obsessed with the working on part. Don't think that you got to be the next Bill Gates. It's got to be like this big board meeting and you got to just spend 50 billion hours discussing strategy. When you're first building a business, you've got to sell. You've got to keep the lights on. You've got to make money. You've got to be in the thick of things. And then once you start making that money, once you start figuring out what works and what doesn't work, then that's when you kind of pull back just a little bit and you focus on getting a little bit more strategic. You start focusing on your systems. You start focusing on optimizing your processes, okay? You start thinking a little bit more about your business strategy. It's not just about you grinding it out. It's about you thinking your way to success, okay? So... Just to recap all of what we discussed in today's video about how much you should work in order to be successful, number one, for starters, go off of this formula. Four figures, zero to 20. Five figures, 20 to 60. Six figures and beyond, 60 to 80 hours worth of work per week to put you in the rare air of what you need, where you need to be, in order to get the success that you desire. 
In terms of your vacations, take time off when you need it. Don't allow yourself to get burnt out. Understand rest and recovery. Your resting periods are just as important as your work. And wherever you are, make sure you're there, all in 100%. And then understand that for every work shift that you have, you need to know whether you're going to be focused on working on your business versus working in your business. And only you can control how you invest your time in a day. All right. So if you want to know more about how to successfully transition out of your nine to five job into becoming a full time entrepreneur, let's say that you've got dreams and visions of taking this thing all the way. You don't want to be at a job. You don't want to have a boss that you got to answer to. You want to be able to live life on your own terms. If that applies to you, I want you to click the link below or tap the card above because I want to be able to show you all for free how to be able to transition step by step out of your nine to five job successfully into your own business. You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Yeah, you could turn in your two weeks notice right now and say that you're about to be a business owner, but I wouldn't advise that you do that <laughs> because you got to have some way to be able to put food on the table. And if you don't know how to make money on your own and you just try to crash, dive your way into success, oh boy, it could be a rough road for you. I wouldn't suggest that you do that. And that's the reason why I put together this video for you to show you how to be able to make it as smooth of a transition as possible. I want to show you how I went from being a manager in corporate America that enjoyed the benefits of having a salary to being a full-time entrepreneur, enjoying the benefits of working from home, traveling the world, and so much more. If you want to do the same, go to the link below, tap the card above, and I'll show you how step-by-step -step, all for free. All right, please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it so that way brothers like yourself can succeed. And please share this video. Be your brother's keeper. Don't leave this a secret. A nation is only as strong as its weakest link. And man, if so many talented, creative brothers knew the things that we're going over today, their lives could be completely different. All right, I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.